we made a decision to building a planning tool based on transparency, shifting the power back to the consumer and making sure that there's a universal measure fitting of the category. So after much work, we know that our eyes on ad attention or active attention is the most valuable measure against human behavior or, or uh, business outcomes, for example. So we made a decision that um, active attention seconds was going to be our measure that fits the category. Um, and we also know that eyes on ad attention inherently reflects differences across platform. What it essentially means is that human attention transcends all other mediating variables and negates the need to separately measure the things that drive it. The way we collect data is active attention, which is literally eyes on ad, and it follows it on the screen, or passive attention, which is eyes on the screen, but not on the ad and non-attention. Let me just quickly skim over the web-based version that we've built. A planner will choose the country, age, gender, product category, if relevant, because we do have a lot of data from quite a few countries. Then drop down formats um, underneath the platforms will render the different types of formats that you can buy or we have data for and or ad lengths as well. So whatever the platform or the format of interest is. What happens next is the CPM column is auto-filled. It's connected to an internal reference sheet. We don't pretend to have that data. If any of you know some work that I did before it actually got into Wall Street Journal, we did CPMs against STAS. Um, and one of the criticisms was that we were trying to predict CPM. Um, so what we've done here is we said we won't. We've just added the algebra behind the tool so that when we get to the summary page, um, there's allocations, but basically it's just really, really transparent. The CPM is inputted from the media planner. Then this is the gold bit, the number of active attentive seconds. This is literally how many eyes on ad amount of seconds. Um, and the other important thing here is the proportion of active attention relative to total ad length. Um, and, and what you need to understand here is this proportion is really important because this is real completion rates compared to completion rates against time in view. Then you can see like any unit pricing, it actually calculates active attentive seconds CPM. So this is the value play that we're trying to push. It tells us whether performance differences between platforms using active attention as the baseline is accounted for by cost. So we have a traffic light system in there that indicates best value, worst value indicator. It's definitely not about the cheapest CPM overall. It's about how many units do I get for my money? Our goal here is not to drive CPMs down. We want to make sure that the ecosystem thrives. It's about highlighting quality reach. And then if by chance, which is rare, but if by chance the platform with the highest number of seconds isn't the best value, an amber indicator will come in and highlight the need for a CPM negotiation. So this planning tool is about CPM negotiations and we're about to get to it, spend allocations. So we also include the whole distribution. So this is the combination of non-attention. So you can truly see this is not real data. This is realistic, but not real. Um, so you can see in this column that, you know, 20 seconds of a 30 second skippable, this is not YouTube data, I might add, um, was not paid attention to at all. And the second column there is total attentive. So those two combined is non-attention, passive attention and active attention. And that is what you're paying for as a normal CPMs or a normal opportunity to see. So emitting, you know, ad fraud, of course, um, all ads get a bit of passive, less so of active and a lot of non-attention. And that is what a normal OTS is that you're paying for. Then once you've allocated some scenarios, you might want to try different target segments. For example, the tool actually then saves those allocations so that you can compare different campaign scenarios. So this is the juicy page in that it summarizes the average active attention CPM across platforms by scenario or across campaigns by scenario by platform. Um, but more importantly, it adds a weighting around the value, right? So it, it weights value performance and assigns a spend proportion relative to the performance. 
So this is not us knowing what you are planning to spend. This is us saying, given the relative performance against the value that we, the unit price, um, this is what the spend allocation should be. So, and voila, that's the quality layer made easily. But the other part of the data in the landing page can be used for different things as well. So what you should know is at the moment we have a web-based version um, and new data and new formats and API version is due in January. 